What's up guys, DZF here, and today we have another preparing for the new format video, and it's going to be on DNA surgery. Uh, DNA surgery is a continuous trap that changes the types of all monsters you face up on the field to anything you choose. Uh, there's been, over the years, kind of crazy strategies using this to change your own monsters to dinosaurs and overlay for Evel Evelzars, um, like Lagia and Dolka. Um, that's kind of questionable, to say the least. But right now, I think DNA surgery is a strong pick going into the new format. Uh, Prophecy, one of the forerunners of this new format, which a lot of people are speculating, gets kind of wrecked by this. They can't use, uh, just off the top of my head, they can't use Master, Power, Wisdom, and if they don't have another spell book, spell caster in Graveyard, they can't use Tower. So, um, oh, and they can't use Fate. That's also important. So DNA surgery shuts off a good half of their spell books, and some of those are very important, um, especially Fate. Uh, they only have one copy of it, so making that one copy dead is very good. And if you can resolve a DNA surgery before they activate said Fate, um, you're pretty much set to win. A lot of spell book players do not play that many MSTs because they have other means of destruction. Uh, pretty much you only have to worry about World of Prophecy at that point, and if you are playing in a very defensive deck, uh, like a lot of people are, you can stop that World of Prophecy before it hits, or at least negate its effect when it hits the field. Other stuff DNA Surgery is good against is Fire Fists and especially Bujins. Uh, with both of these decks, uh, you can't go into a lot of the XYZs they want to go into. The new uh, Bujin XYZ that can't be destroyed twice per turn, uh, that one needs Beast Warriors. Um, the Tiger King needs Beast Warriors, so Fire Fist can't make those. Against Bujins, though, calling it anything outside of uh, Beast Warriors makes all of their uh, little equipments not work. So you can't Crane stuff, you can't Quillen stuff, and you can't Turtle stuff because they're not Beast Warriors. This is such a huge advantage, I can't even <laughs> explain. Uh, you'd think that something like Light Imprisoning Mirror and Mind Drain. Uh, that combination would cripple Bujins, but DNA Surgery basically does the same thing um, just with one card. So, if you have a deck that can side Light Imprisoning Mirror, Mind Drain, and DNA Surgery, you pretty much win against Bujins, and that is one of the reasons I'm playing Volcanics, uh, is because they can side all three of those. That's a really good strategy. Um, as far as other random stuff, I'm trying to think what DNA Surgery would be good against. If you do happen to face a uh, Evertile deck, calling something that's not Dinosaur would kind of screw them up. But the big reasons are for Bujin and Spellbooks, two decks that are going to be huge going into this first month, and DNA Surgery shuts both of them down. Uh, what do you think of DNA Surgery? Please let me know in the comments below because I'm interested to hear if people are playing this card and why they're not if they're not. So, see you guys later. Bye.